Hi, I'm Howard from Crazy Tech. Got information on Etsy International Shipping. Etsy International Shipping is the default. I just updated my Etsy shop with lots of new products, mainly digital art on t-shirts, and I am excited to be open for business. Okay, I have to be realistic, and I'm hoping to sell a few very soon. However, it dawned on me that I hadn't set my sales regions. I wanted to sell only in the U.S. because selling internationally can be a money-losing nightmare. So I tried to find the country settings in settings, but no luck. I searched on YouTube and found that you could select sales to U.S. only, but guess what? That setting was missing or hard to find in Etsy 2023 help. So that told me right away that they preferred to keep my sales worldwide. I guess selling your products to Europe and everywhere else is better, but not for me because of the risks. I'll talk about those risks later. So I did find a way to deselect all countries and sell my products to U.S. residents only. I opened a chat box with Etsy and I was directed to the shipping profiles page to make the changes, but they were not directly listed. They were embedded in my shopping profiles and I had to edit each profile to delete international shipping, leaving only U.S. listed. Why did I have to edit each form? That's because each time you list a product, you need to add a shipping profile, which is automatically added by Etsy with the name of your product, origin, zip code, estimated processing time in days or weeks, and finally the shipping locations, which you can delete. And since I added 30 listings, I had 30 separate shipping profiles that I had to modify. I did find you could and should set up a generic profile that you can add to each new listing. That was the fix. It only took me a day of searching and about 30 minutes in an online chat with Etsy support to find the solution. If you're new to Etsy, you may not know the default shipping area is worldwide. So sellers, this is your heads up and now you know you'll need to modify your shipping profile to sell to only U.S. residents to avoid those international fees and taxes. Reasons for limiting sales within the U.S. If you live in the U.S., here are some solid reasons to deselect international sales. VAT Tax EU VAT is a value-added tax where you'll pay for sales to EU countries from a minimum of 5% to 15%. This can really reduce your profits, and if you have a return, this could be a total loss. However, if you wish to offer your products worldwide, you can, but you'll have to apply for a VAT license. And with that license, you can write off those taxes as a business expense. Returns. EU countries will require returns, even if a customer decides they don't like the item. And if you're in the U.S., you will have to pay the return postage, which can be $10 to $15. When returns are requested, most sellers just tell the customer to keep the item and then refund the money. Of course, if the product is defective, it's understandable you will have to accept returns and send a replacement for a defective t-shirt. But in the EU, returns can be requested for any reason. It's up to the Etsy seller to make that call for increased sales, but I won't take the chance. Shipping internationally also has the risk of lost products, especially if they are shipped from the U.S. and will travel halfway around the world. Duty is another negative factor when shipping from the U.S. because it has to be collected. Normally, the recipient will pay the fee. However, if they don't take delivery and the package is returned to the sender, which is you, even though the product is printed by a third party, fees must be paid, and the merchant will be charged the duty. I know this because I had a problem when an order was returned from Canada. So when starting your Etsy store, it's a great idea to understand how to set up shipping profiles so you can select the right regions for your sales. If you want to limit your sales to the U.S. only, don't get caught in the default. But worldwide selling will definitely offer more potential sales. And if you don't mind the risk, then it may be the best way to go. If you like what you see, please subscribe. The subscribe button is right on the right side of the screen. And I'll have more Etsy videos in the future. Thanks for stopping by.